Hey everybody, my name is Jordan Daniels. I'm a contact juggler from Northern California, and this is a contact juggling tutorial titled The Jackknife Stall and You. Here is a quick demonstration of what we'll be learning today. This stall point requires a lot of control to hold, and even more control to get into and out of smoothly. As such, just as with any new stall point, the first thing we will want to do is to find the area where we're going to stall the ball. This is where I stall mine. Now, it's worth mentioning that everybody is different and every body is different. Thus, you may find that your jackknife doesn't look exactly the same as mine. This is okay. This being the case, it's very important to experiment with different hand and finger positioning and tension or relaxation of the muscles of the arm. Note what happens when I move my fingers and change the shape of my hand while holding the jackknife position. The arm changes shape slightly. You may find that a flat hand against the back of the neck works just fine for you, as it does for me. But if not, here are some other hand positions that I have seen. If they all work, more power to you. Just choose what you like best aesthetically. Now that you have found your stall point, place the ball there and try to keep it there. Remember to keep that elbow hiked up. Try walking around or doing a jig. Eventually, you will want to challenge yourself to throw the ball a short distance and catch it in the stall. Once you can do this, you are ready to learn to roll to the stall. Here are a few examples of ways to get into and out of this stall. The method you will want to start with is rolling the ball from the outside elbow stall straight to the jackknife stall. This is the shortest path there and will help you to solidify this move. Simply start in the outside elbow stall and hike your elbow up to the jackknife position. If done correctly, the ball should roll over the muscle bulge of the forearm and right into the stall point. Once it gets there, it's just about putting the brakes on by slightly dropping the arm or adjusting your position. Think of a controlled catch. This takes time to achieve. It took me about six months to get this relatively comfortable. Remember to always practice this in the opposite direction as well. That's all I've got time for this time around. Hope these pointers helped you out in your journey to learn the jackknife stall. And if you'd like some extra tips, feel free to contact me via Facebook or email. I'm totally willing to help you guys out and I hope to teach you more at Fire Drums this year.